Hi, are you looking to establish a lightning fast and secure network connection? If so, you're in the right place. Today in this video, I'm going to guide you step by step through the process of setting up a point to point 1G or even up to 2.5 or 10G fiber LAN. And please don't hesitate to reach out to us if you have any question with your system design. You can send us a diagram through the link down in the description box below and we'll be more than happy to answer your question for you. To build a local area network, we can choose from using copper cable or fiber optic cable. In my opinion, I prefer the fiber optic cable because it offers several benefits compared to the copper network. Fiber optic cable can transmit data over much longer distances without suffering for signal degradation. Copper cable, on the other hand, experiences signal loss and degradation over longer distances. Also, fiber optic cable have much higher bandwidth capacity that can support significantly faster data transfer rate, making them ideal for video streaming, cloud computing, and data center. So now let's transition to the next scene as we divide it deeper into the setup process of our fiber optic cable network. A point-to-point -point fiber optic network is a direct connection between two locations using the fiber optic cables. It establishes a dedicated and private link, allowing for high speed, 10G, 40G, or even higher, and secure data transmission. The distance between two locations can up to 20 kilometers. So those networks can find in many industrial and scenarios, such as data center, to establish high-speed link between server, storage system, or network switches. Also in broadcast and media, to ensure seamless and high-quality broadcasting and their wide range of applications where point-to-point -point fiber optic networks can provide high speed and secure between two endpoints. So let's take a look at our setup today. We have the 300 meters fiber optic cable in between and a wireless access point at the edge. So let's see closer what we need. So on the demonstration board, we have two important components. They are fiber media converter and SFP transceiver. Now a fiber media converter is a device enabled the conversion of signals between fiber optic and ethernet cable. Allows for seamless integration and communication between fiber optic network and copper based ethernet devices. It works by receiving the electrical data signal from the copper device and then convert them into fiber optical signal. Now this is the SFP transceiver. Those are usually sold separately. They are used in networking equipment to provide flexibility and scalable connectivity options for fiber optic cable. So make sure you choose the appropriate SFP transceiver for a specific network requirement, such as different types of fiber optic cable or transmission distances. So without saying, Let's do the connection together. So let's do our connection. This is the router to provide main network data. And we're going to use an ethernet cable here to connect with it. This is the media converter. We are going to plug it in this side to connect with our router. And it need power, five to 12 voltage DC power. So let's plug it in. And we can see the light is on. Over this side, this is where we put the SFP transceiver. Let's plug it in here and connect with our fiber optic cable. Stick it onto the wall. This is our four string fiber optic cable and it's already pre-mated so we don't need to worry about the connector. And it's 100% tested in the factory. It has label on each string. So let's use A and connect with the SFP transceiver. So for this side, we are all set. We have the 300 meters fiber optic cable. Over this side, we are going to do the exact same thing. So let's plug in. Remember, we have the label A, fiber optic cable. Let's plug it in here to here. It's already been powered up. Now I'm going to connect it with our wireless SS point. 
plug it in here. And since we need power for the wireless access point, so it's already been powered up. So now we have completed the fiber optic cable network. So let's talk a little bit more about the fiber optic setting. First one, this is the fiber optic cable choosing. It can focus on two factors. First is the cable type. We have single mode and multi mode. Single mode are suitable for long distance while multi mode are practical for short range needs. And also the connector. There are LC, SC, ST, and a few more. And each with their own specific application and characteristic. So make sure you choose the right fiber optic cable for your situation. Second, we need a proper documentation of cable routing because it is important for maintenance, troubleshooting, and future expansion. Also use a cable trace or protective tubing to protect your fiber optic cable from physical damage because it's made out of glass, so it is fragile. Make sure you choose a compatible device. We have PoE device and also if you're using an outdoor application, choose an outdoor waterproof device. So this system is a 1G LAN network, which offer a 1 gigabit per second data transfer. Upgrade to 2.5G or 10G if you require a higher bandwidth. And all the devices need to support 10G if you require a 10G transfer rate. And we also have 10G fiber switch, 10G SFP transceiver, and etc. So here's a video on how to build a 10G LAN using the fiber optic cable. And thank you so much for watching us today. I'll see you next time.